Okay, the biggest show in town, probably across the entire state, is the Vikings home opener. Of course, they're hosting the San Francisco 49ers in the first game at U.S. Bank Stadium for this season. And it's a headline item in an already busy weekend for all of Minneapolis. Our Rob Olson joins us now live looking at the ability to actually get around with such a packed schedule this week. Rob, this is a this is going to be a busy one, isn't it? And parking is going to be at a premium, too. Yeah, it is already. And it's, yeah, it, Purple Friday, Tim. Purple Friday is already an exciting day of the week, is it not, here with uh, the Vikings <laughs> coming up here on Sunday. Seen a number of Vikings fans already wandering around, some Twins fans just went by on scooters right over here the red bull show runs getting ready for tomorrow's event so yes a plan ahead here for uh, either parking or for uh, public transportation because yeah it's a busy weekend 48 hours before kickoff for the vikings home opener a win that's what i expect preparations for a busy weekend in hopes as always of a satisfying sunday i do expect a victory monday <laughs> For sure. At the Vikings team store in Egan, we found fans who'd flown in for this from Arizona. This year's going to be better. It's going to be way better. Why? Because after every rough season comes a great season. That's just life, so we can't help but win. As well as fans who'd come in from Idaho. It looks good on you. Love it. It might be a little big, but... Hey, it's as big as the Vikings will be, you know, <laughs> when they win a Super Bowl. <laughs> What's that going to happen? This year. And this influx is only part of what's going to make this weekend from the stadium on throughout downtown just a little bit busy. <laughs> Roads are already closed near U.S. Bank Stadium to create the track for the Red Bull show run, which is on Saturday. The highlight being a Formula One demonstration along 4th Street. That means getting around downtown is already a challenge, but the plan is to have all this cleared by 5 a.m. Sunday. But on Sunday, there's a Twins game at Target Field that also starts at noon. At 1 p.m. at the Orpheum, just adding to the downtown congestion, the touring production of the Back to the Future musical. Metro Transit will be adding additional cars to light rail on both the green and blue lines, as well as two inbound and two outbound North Star trains because of such a busy Sunday. Oh, super excited. It's going to be tough. The Niners are they're, they're a tough team. And hopefully the Vikings make any of these traffic troubles all worth it. <laughs> the Vikings are winning. We know it. I hope so. That'll be a fun game on Sunday. So again, uh, you know, as always with big events like this, but somebody going on at once, travel around downtown tomorrow is, you know, a little tricky here. And then, of course, the transportation on Sunday. Again, plan ahead and enjoy a beautiful day. Tim, back to you. Yeah, it's all good, Rob. Thank you.